which of the following is the most common histological subtype of bladder cancer in this patient? Uh, a 63-year-old man, 45-pack year history, presents with painless gross hema hematuria, imaging study, real mass in the bladder, biopsy is performed, histopathological examination reveals malignant cells. Um, I know this as like a factoid that the most common histological subtype, it should be transitional cell. I'm just trying to see if this lines up. I mean, I know smoking would increase that. Um, especially they're asking in the bladder specifically. Um, it's those transitional cells. I would have to go with that. I mean, there's like a few things that. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay, good. So okay. most common is going to be transitional cell carcinoma, increased risk mm -hmm. factors, right? Smoking is a big one too. Mm -hmm. um, smoking gives you, a, a, you know, lots of different risk factors for cancer, right? Lung cancer, right? Squame or small cell are increased, mm -hmm. right? Um, smoking in the head and neck will give you squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck, any oral lesion, nasal pharyngeal lesion, laryngeal lesions, et cetera, right? Um, also renal cell carcinoma, right? Increased risk too with smoking. So a lot of things not good, right? With smoking, right? Yes. Um, but yeah, good. Transitional cell, right? The other ones are not so much, right? Squamous cell, less common in bladder. Adenocarcinoma, also super rare, Right. That's right. Small cell carcinoma. That's right. Okay. It's usually in, you know, lungs, but can be yep. uh, super, super rare. And then rhabdomyosarcoma, right? Skeletal muscle. So good. Okay. 